Greetings and salutations. This is a Mega Monday bonus video, and I'm probably going to release these on days other than Monday. Uh, this is, of course, Dragon Warrior for the NES. Um, probably one of the most important RPGs ever made. Uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because this is my first ever request from a subscriber who goes by the name of Wolfgang Gamer King HD. I hope I got your name right. So thank you so much for subscribing and requesting this game. I thought uh, it was a great idea to do these. Not just uh, Dragon Warrior 1, but the entire Nintendo and uh, even Super Nintendo series, which I have translations of. So, we're going to get started on this. I'm probably going to be a longish video. Um, as you can see, I haven't touched this game. Uh, what are we going to name this guy? What would I, uh, what would I name him? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get this far. Uh, oh man. I really agonize over these names. That's why I probably... I probably do a lot of goofy names. Let's see, what's, uh, what's a good name here? We'll just name him... We'll name him Erdrick and see if the... You know, let me do it properly here. We'll name him Erdrick and see if the game explodes. Um, you'll see why if you haven't played this. I think I spelled that correctly. Uh, I don't know, should I make it fast or normal? I forget how the message speed scrolls. So we'll go with normal, hopefully it's not incredibly slow. And here we are. I love the music for this game. We'll take a second to soak this in. Okay, well this is um, this is also an Enix game. Uh, beautiful company. I really loved Enix, especially in their 16-bit phase. Uh, Enix Quintet. Uh, Quintet was not Enix. I think they were a developer that worked for Enix. Enix often published games, but uh, great, great development crew. And, uh, Enix in general made a lot of different and interesting games. Some of them were pretty terrible, but uh, they seem to have become more of a publisher. Maybe they always were. I don't really know their history. Anyway, enough of that boring history of Dragon Warrior crap. Descendant of Erdrick. Listen now to my words. That's why I named him Erdrick, the Descendant of Erdrick. I should name him Erdrick Jr. I wanted to see if maybe it would unlock something, like you start out with his sword or something. We'll find out. It is told that in ages past, Erdrick fought demons with a ball of light. Then came the Dragon Lord who stole the precious globe and hid it in the darkness. Now, Erdrick, thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. The Dragon Lord must be defeated. Take now whatever thou may find in these treasure chests to aid thee in thy quest. Then speak with the guards, for they have much knowledge that may aid thee. May the light shine upon thee, Erdrick. So that's the king and his um, pseudo-Elizabethan um, monologue there, basically telling you the entire story of the game in, you know, about a paragraph. Uh, one of the things I really love about this game is its simplicity. It's something people often complain about and point out in games, but we found, oh, how do I open this? See, so I have, this is totally cold. 
Okay, I got some gold. But, um... Now, the movement in this game is very stiff. But simplicity isn't necessarily a bad thing. And um, the reason I keep searching, <laughs> trying to open a door when there's no door, um, is because I was playing uh, Doraemon. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, or Doraemon, which was a Japanese RPG very much styled after this game. And we found a torch. And this is very strange, this movement. Um, I do remember it being stiff though. We found a magic key. So I think we do have to do something for the king. We'll try talking to him again. When thou art finished preparing for thy departure, please see me. I shall wait. Talk to this guy. Dost thou know about Princess Gwaylin? Yes, yes, I know everything about Gwaylin. Odric, please save the princess. I wonder if I say no to him, will we? Say. Half a year now hath passed since the princess was kidnapped by the enemy. Never does the king speak of it. But he must be suffering much. Edric, please save the princess. Well, well, interesting. If thou hast collected all of the treasure chests, a key will be found. Once used, the key will disappear, but the door will open, and thou may pass through. The one thing I have to comment on this game, you know, is the job that was done on this translation. It's just excellent for an NES game, or even by today's standards. It was really whoever did it had uh, had a sense of flair, and they seem to have gotten a lot of stuff right. Like they interpreted it well. Like everything they say to you makes sense. You know, sometimes it might be a little vague, but you know, as long as you can understand all the these and nows. East of this castle is a town where armor, weapons, and many other items may be purchased. Return to the inn for rest if thou art wounded in battle, Erdrick. Yeah, just sleep it off. Sleep, sleep heals all. Yeah, you know, you get shot by an arrow, sleep that off. Don't walk it off, sleep it off. I think, do I have to use the key on the door? Yeah, alright, so I think we're ready. Let's see. Maybe not. Okay. I forget what it is that we have to do. Do I talk to that guy? Yeah, okay. No, oh, oh, okay. Alright. I guess I did. Then we have to do a command for stairs. If thou art planning to take a rest, first see King Lorik. King Lorik will record thy deeds in his Imperial Scroll, so thou may return to thy quest later. Just don't, just make sure you hit, hold reset while you hit power. Remember the game would constantly tell you about that. There was a time when Breconary was a paradise, then the Dragon Lord's minions came. Where, where can I find Princess Gwaylin? We are merchants who have traveled much in this land. Many of our carly, co bleh, colleagues have been killed by servants of the Dragon Lord. Tis unfortunate. Rumor has it that entire towns have been destroyed by the Dragon Lord's servants. Now one of the things that, other things that makes this game great, is that you will see that the stuff these people talk about is actually, you know, it's not just uh, fluff. Like, you will see a lot of the stuff happens, comes about in the game. To become strong enough to face future trials, they must first battle many foes. And, yeah, you will be battling 
many foes. This game is very grindy. They almost have a key to open a door. And in fact, uh, for the purposes of this video, I will do a bit of the grinding on screen so you guys can just kind of get a taste of it. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to do all the grinding off screen to spare you the very long and boring grinding sequences of grinding. When entering the cave, take with thee a torch. Where, where can I find Princess Gwaven? This guy down here is important. He is very helpful. Erdrick's coming was foretold legend may the shine, light shine upon thee, brave warrior. This guy will restore your magic points once you have them. <laughs> right now we don't. I, uh, I'm level 1 and I suck too much for magic. But you will get it restored and you will be able to heal yourself for free, which is great because ends cost money and money is scarce. Unfortunately, I think he's the only guy that does that in the game. Welcome to Tantigal... is it Tantigal Castle? I think it is. And t I think Tantigal is a real castle, a real place. Um, I study history, and I, I remember reading about... I, th I think it's in England. It was either one of the feudal English states, or it was... Um, just a castle, and I shouldn't have done this. Let's see, can I run? Yeah, okay. But yeah, so, you know, if you ever hear stuff like Al Albion, Albion, or Umbridge... Yeah, was it Umbridge? Ah, uh, well, it's, it's late, I can't remember shit. But if you ever hear names like that, some of those places were actual real places long ago. Well, aren't most welcome in Breckenry. I don't know if I should really go around talking to everyone, but I'll do it for you guys. If you don't like it, let me know. If you want to watch me grind, let me know. And I, and I mean grind by fighting enemies over and over again, not grinding in a different sense. Many have been the warriors who have perished on this quest. But for thee, I wish success, Erdrick. Now, of course, if you guys really do want to see me grind, I, I can. I guess I can do that. I can twerk, too. Tell King Lurk that the search for his daughter hath failed. I am almost gone. Now, <laughs> if I remember correctly, that guy, <laughs> he's in the end throughout the game. I am almost gone. Yeah, you come back uh, a month later. Yo, dude, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm almost gone. The search failed. I could be wrong, though. Go north to the seashore, then follow the coastline west until thou hast reached Garenham. No, don't do that yet. You'll die. Please save us from the minions of the Dragonlord. The enemies in this game are vicious if you are underleveled. See King Lurk when the experience levels are raised. Now I keep wanting to say Leoric from Diablo, which I played recently. Art thou the descendant of Erdrick? Hast thou any proof? Not yet. No, I'm not Princess Quaylin. <laughs> Enter well where they're all kept. You know, I this guy, Dragon Warrior dude. He looks a hell of a lot like Skyrim dude with the horned helmet there. Very much, very much like him. Of course, he has a tassel in the back. Within sight of Tantagel Castle to the south is Charlock, the fortress of Dragonlord. That's another thing I liked about this game: being able to see the final objective from the initial start point. Is, you know, it's very dramatic. I mean, you know, it's just a little 8-bit RPG. But 
You know, there, this game is done with a certain flair. Uh, let's see what tools he has. Nothing we can use. And actually, the dragon skill is helpful. I think it adds to your defense or something. Okay, so let's go up here and talk to more peoples. Let me talk to that guy. Welcome, enter the shop and speak to its keeper across the desk. And we do need weapons and armor. Now, if you are playing along with me, or you intend to play this in the future, I highly recommend that you do your best to maximize your money. Unfortunately, we can't get the copper sword. I would just say get the club. Uh, you could get the clothes too, they do give you some defense. But, not much. And, uh, having better weapons sooner is really very much helpful. I don't... Oh, okay, he equipped it on me. Um, it's very helpful because you're going to do a lot of grinding, and being able to kill the enemies that much faster is important, even above like your survivability, because, uh, well obviously they'll do less damage to you if you kill them. Watch I hit points on in the poison marsh. So I think there's a little bit more chip chattery to do. If thou art cursed, come again. Thank you, come again. Right there, the descendant of Virgil. Oh, yeah, we talked to you. No, no, I, well, I think of uh, Boo from The Simpsons. Talk to that guy. Okay, so there's magic keys you can buy. And I think that's it for now. So we're going to go out. We're going to do a bit of Z grinding. Uh, it is very much imp is very important to stay. You can see, there's Castle Charlock, surrounded by the poison marsh. It's very important to stay, like in this little area here. You want to just fight slimes because if you go like you know like ten steps to the south, you'll probably encounter things like I think they were called drakes or drakies or something. We'll see, we're, we're magicians. Of course, we get a red slime. Erdrick attacks. Red slime's hit points have been reduced by two. Erdrick's hit points have been reduced by two. The game just goes on. And see, this is where the club's very good to have. Because we were able to kill him in two turns. If I had bought, like, the bamboo pole. He might have been like a three turn deal. And you don't want that. <laughs> Keep getting red slimes. I might even hold off on armor until we get to. Um. Until we get the copper sword. I might, I might actually make that my first goal because. We would just kill things so much more efficiently. <laughs> this is this is what I would do when playing this game, like for hours. This, this is what you do. Yeah, it's still a good game. I was hoping he'd be a one-shot kill. Sorry about that. I had to get some drink. Thou hast done well in defeating the slime. Thy experience increases by one. Thy gold increases by one. I never got tired of that, uh... You know, it's that kind of Shakespearean... 
text there. I always liked it. The game has uh, pretty decent music too. I wouldn't say it's the best. It's not bad by any means. It used to make me tired though. I remember playing this. I actually played it when I was a little bit older. I wasn't a kid. I was probably like 14. I remember I, you know, coming home from school, playing this and like falling asleep. A <laughs> random battle would be nice. And uh, you know, if you read my reviews, whenever I play like an NES RPG, I complain about this type of battle system. This Dragon Warrior style battle system, as I call it. But I think it's really important to understand that uh, I actually like the way this, the way it was done in this game, um, because they do give you like a little background, you know, with the enemies. It's not just a black screen, and, you know, the enemy sprites are pretty interesting. Not any kind of animation or, or anything like that, but it's a lot better than... Can we, can we level up, please? It's a lot better than some of the other uh, RPGs on the NES. If you you know if you if you're curious about that, I have gameplay samples. I think uh, Legend of the Ghost Slime is probably or Double Moon Densetsu, or Legend of the Double Moon. Uh, both of them use a very similar system, but they don't do it as well as Dragon Warrior did it. They were very lazy, and we got a level up. Courage and wit have served thee well. Thou hast been promoted to the next level. Thy power increases by one. Thy maximum hit points increase by six. That's it? <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for like... You're supposed to get like agility. <laughs> Ma well, magic points do come a little bit later. Uh-oh. We're in the red here. <laughs> yeah, I think you're supposed to get agility points or something. I didn't even look at my stats. Attack, defend, yeah, agility. I didn't get any agility here. I like how the screen tinges red when you're dying. Uh, they always let you know when you're in trouble. And this game does uh, actually manage to establish a sense of tension at times. There's there's a really cool light mechanic um, for the dungeons where you cast a light spell or you have a torch that will illuminate uh, part of the dungeon. Well, obviously, right? And you, you need it to navigate the, the, uh, the areas. And if you run out of magic points, or I think your torch can die, you're in trouble. You know, you won't be able to see, you'll really wander and get lost. And, you know, I remember playing this and wondering, like, as I'm diving into some of these dungeons in the game, will I have enough magic points to get out of the dungeon, keep myself healed, etc., etc. So, you know, even though it's very simple, it is well executed in these regards. And we'll see that as we, as we go on. It's been a very long time since I've played this, so... I am going to... it is going to be kind of new to me. I do know the, bol the, uh, the broad strokes of the game. What I have to do and where I have to go. I won't be hopelessly lost like I was when I first played it. Oh, we got a critical hit. And we've done well in defeating the red side. Oh, then didn't want to step in. Now, I wonder if you have to level up a little bit to get him to tell you... Like, I know what I have to do next, but... 
get the king to tell you about it. You might have to love it, but... In fact, he will tell you, I think, how much experience you need to get to the next level. And I, you know, I might, I don't know, I might cut the video off in a couple minutes. Because it's, it's going to be a lot of this. And I don't want to do this throughout the video. Or videos. And give people the impression that I'm just going to grind throughout the game. Um, with, uh, Doraemon that I mentioned earlier. Um, I was actually playing it with, uh, a couple other people. We were discussing it on the forum. And we were trying to figure out some of the game's secrets, because it was, it was initially a Japanese game that didn't doesn't have much English information on it. And I watched a Japanese video that you know, some guy did. It was all in Japanese. I had no idea what was going on, but we were trying to figure something out about the game. And the player was grinding in the video, and I thought, like, who would want to see that? So I'm, I'm going to cut a lot of that out. So you're not going to see what you just saw um, now in the rest of the videos. It's going to be me just telling you, look, I leveled up. I fought a bunch of these guys, and we're going to go in this dungeon and kill a bunch of stuff and hopefully get out and, you know, win. So we're, you know, maybe moving between new from one new town to the next and buying equipment. Like, I'll show you guys the interesting stuff, and not the tons of grinding that I'm going to do. I'm greatly pleased that thou hast returned, Erdrick. Before reaching thy next level of experience, thou must gain 11 points. Will thou tell me now thy deeds so they won't be forgotten? Yes. Thy deeds have been recorded on the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. Thus thou wish to continue thy quest? Yes. Goodbye now, Erdrick. Take care and tempt not the fates. Okay, I, you know, I guess I have to... I do know where I have to go. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to these NPCs or forgot. Because I'm blathering. But I, I do know where I have to go. Um, there's a cave, I think, to the west. And we have to go in there and get something. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, you know, I might just run over there since we saved the game. I probably should have put the text on fast. Uh-oh. Huh. Huh. Okay, it's up here. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it. No, no, this feels different. The, the version I have is Revision A. This is Dragon Warrior Revision A. And... I'm beginning to wonder... I have to take a look at this. You know what, you know, maybe it is just in the same, we'll find out. I'm beginning to wonder if it's different. Oh my. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about with the light mechanic. And if you just have a torch, it's, it's pretty rough, like... You know, you can only really see in, in a... One block ahead of you. Um, later on, when I was just there, later on when you get the light spell, I think it extends out to like three blocks or something. And unfortunately, we don't have that. Luxury of having light. Okay, I think. <laughs> Here's the thing. Oh my god. 
You don't get attacked down here, though. That's the nice thing. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Then we'll do take, not search. Which in smiles upon me, Erdrick, thou hast found the tablet. The tablet reads as follows. I am Erdrick, <laughs> and thou art my descendant. Three items were needed to reach the Isle of Dragons, which is south of Breckenridge. I gathered these items, reached the island, and there defeated a creature of great evil. Now I have been trusted with three items to three worthy keepers. Your descendants will protect the items until my quest leads thee to seek them out. On a long tablet. When a new evil arises, find the three items and fight. And that was it. Okay. I don't know if we get any further instructions. I do remember the three items. Um, I think. <laughs> Actually, I know there is one hidden in a town to the north. There's one hidden very close by. I don't think I'm going to say where it is quite yet. We'll find out though. And then there's one... Hidden, I think it's hidden in a cave somewhere. There is one that is kind of like a, a tricky trick to find, if I remember. But we'll worry about that later. Uh oh. And this is this is the guy right here, a, a Drakey. Well, we'll run. I'm not gonna fight you, Drakey. I don't want to fight you, Drakey. They're so friendly looking. They're not, not at all uh, intimidating, but that thing would slaughter me horribly if I tried to fight it. At level 2 with like almost all my hit points gone. So we're going to slog our way back to the castle here. And I am going to do some very nice grinding so we can get um, so we can get uh, our levels up and proceed onward. I wonder if these guards say anything to you about the town. Okay, I guess uh, more Wayland. Yeah, listen to that guy. Save your money. I'm greatly pleased with blah blah blah. And blah 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 blah. Okay, eight experience, so that's not too bad I guess. Yes. Alright, so I am going to wrap this video up right here. Um so Thank you for watching, everyone. I'd like to once again thank Wolf Gang Gamer King HD. I hope I got your name right for requesting this and subscribing. Um, for everyone else who may be watching, I do take requests, and you know, at least at this point in the channel's uh, growth, I'm fairly available. For requests. I can, you know, as long as I have it within reason, I'll probably try to do it. Um, and if I do start getting a, an influx of requests, uh, I'm probably going to make a list of things that people ask for so that way I can kind of uh, hammer them out as we go along. Um, you know, like I said, right now I don't have a lot of subscribers, I don't have a big fan base or anything, so it's, it's really easy to me, for me to respond and do these things quickly. If you're watching this like years from now and I have, you know, a, a large fan base, I'm still going to attempt to do, you know, games that people are interested in and request 
but I might not be as nimble as I once was with that sort of thing if I have a long list of games to cover, which I really, which I already do. I have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of games I want to do, but I think uh, requests are a great way to do that. And, you know, I do this for, uh, you know, the community. This is, this is, um, you know, this is something I enjoy doing, and I enjoy watching, you know, these sort of videos, so I always think there should be more of them. And, you know, I really, once again, I have to say, I really appreciate, you know, everyone who takes the time to watch this stuff. Um, because that's why I do it. I do it for you guys. So thank you so much. And until next time, good luck and happy gaming.